today went off to a great start. I woke up from having nightmares and flashbacks. And that's what I want to make today's video about. And the siren is not going off. The thing I've never done is trauma. Today I want to focus on PTSD if you haven't had trauma therapy. This is my outfit of the day. When you have a flashback, your emotions are heightened. You feel everything more than ever you now. A way of coping with flashbacks is distraction. For me, my biggest distraction is my stuffed unicorn. This is my comfort. I'm I love my unicorn. This unicorn comes up of me and it's coming to get a tattoo done with me because I'm scared of getting a tattoo done that's not on the wrist. My comfort animal. It is a unicorn. It's important to be surrounded by. I've got this. I've got my, my stushy. I've got a stushy that reminds me of my grandma because my grandma loves little sheep. I actually got one for her birthday. It's a jelly. Big cats are expensive, by the way. And this is from someone who collects squishmallows. Big cats are fucking expensive. Like really expensive. Well, I got one for my grandma anyway because it's her birthday. It's her. I'm going to see her and I wanted to get, get her a nice gift that she'd like so I got that and I got a few photos I got a photo of me and my sisters and a photo of her two dogs and I got her a mug that says grandma on it that's what I decided to point it I don't know why I went on that tangent Another good coping skill is having a scent that can bring you back, which is why I use a diffuser. Well, I say diffuser, technically it's an air conditioner machine. It just, you can mix in the scent with the water and it sprays out. So um, that's what I do. I do have a diffuser, I've just got nowhere to put it on. If anyone wants a, diff anyone wants a diffuser, hit me up. Or don't hit me up, I can't afford postage. Beside my money problems, scent is really good for is aromatherapy. For me, I use pure essential. I have it in like gums like this. It's just a few drops. Now my wrist was like lavender. I can't do it on this wrist because of the tattoo. Tattoo is healing, so I'm not gonna pull lavender on it. But just doing something as simple as that is really beneficial. I also have an orange scent that somebody sent me. But scent is a really good way of grounding. So here we are, lying in bed. I don't know what else to say. When you draw with PTSD, there's only so much you can do to take away from the fact you're having flashbacks. Obviously, the ultimate game aim is to not have flashbacks. That's what trauma therapy is for. But if you haven't had trauma therapy, the best you can hope for is afterwards just having self soothe, having some self care. So get a face mask, cut on your favourite teddy bear, watch a video, look at, look at photos, have a diffuser, use essential oils, read a book, have a game on your Switch or whatever console you have. There is no way that I can teach that will make having flashbacks easier. Flashbacks suck, and I don't talk about it very often, but pretty much every night I, I have a nightmare about something and it wakes me up. 
it's just, it sucks. And I'm sorry that there's nothing I can say that will make it any easier. And if you are struggling with flashbacks, I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, stay safe, stay strong, because you've got this. Peace.